We're the Lucas Bros. Be sure to check out thestash.com. Yep. Should be fun. It's dope. This is how you spell it. Stash. Yeah, you spell it like that. <laughs> and dot com. Yeah, you gotta have the dot com. It was you gotta trust the coach, right? I mean, it was I, a dumb. It was. A, I it was think. A, I think it was dumb. But I'm not. I'm not a football coach. I don't know what goes in the mind of a, of a, a football coach who's won the Super but Bowl. But you're like not even. You're within the one yard line, and you have Marshawn Lynch. It, you obviously run. I mean, if I, if everyone's saying make that call, then you probably should have made that call. You know what I mean? I mean, he said he was playing for third and fourth down. So I mean, maybe he wanted to see if he could. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to rationalize it. It was a stupid call, but. I'm not upset about it because I hate Seattle Seahawks. I do hate the Seahawks. <laughs> I'm a 49ers fan, so I was happy to see their fans miserable. Oh, yeah, that was, that was the, the highlight of my Sunday. <laughs> we, used to, we used to backyard wrestle when we were in high school, which, you know. Yeah, we were tag team champions, too. It was dope. We cut promos. <laughs> it was the highlight of my life, bro. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. We had, like, a ring, a makeshift ring. And it was, like, what was it, like 15 of us? It was... About 15 or All 20. All dudes. Yeah. No girls. Yeah. No girlfriends. <laughs> just dudes wrestling. I think Asa had a girlfriend. Asa had a girlfriend? Asa had a girlfriend. Had a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one girlfriend out of 15. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a great question. What about the Royal Rumble? Wasn't that who? Oh, yeah. This, this, the Royal Rumble that, that, that was uh, this past this Royal year. Rumble. Yeah. This Royal Rumble was terrible. The uh, Roman Reigns won. And everybody knew he was going to win. Uh, but the but, way they executed it was so poorly. They yeah. had, like, Big Show and Kane in at the end. It was just horrible to watch. It was just, like, watch. tossing out all of the young talent. And it, was, it ended with, like, Roman Reigns against Big Show and Kane. And, like, oh, we know Big Show and Kane. They're not going to no. challenge the championship. So everyone knew he was going to win. And everybody was upset. And it was, was uh, the thing is, like, it was so obvious to just have Daniel Bryan in the end and just have Roman Reigns eliminate him. Like, that would have made it a better Royal Rumble. It's that easy. Yeah, but he, Mr. Man didn't do it that way, and fans revolted. <laughs> it was, uh, I mean, people were more upset about the Royal Rumble. Than they were the Super Bowl. Well, I won't go that far. Right. But before the Super Bowl happened, people were so upset about the Royal Rumble. It was trending and everything. And then the Super Bowl happened, and people forgot about <laughs> how shitty the Royal Rumble was. <laughs> So was, for me, it was the, I think it was WrestleMania 10, 10 mm -hmm. when he beat Yokozuna, got the championship. Yeah, because the, the crazy thing is he lost to Owen Hart. He, he did the opening match with Owen Hart, which was a great match, mm -hmm. like a masterpiece. And then he, he beat Yokozuna and all the wrestlers, like, put him on his shoulder. And yeah. that, was, that was probably the highlight for Brett, right? Yeah, it was definitely. Yeah. It was definitely. Oh, and a match with Oh, and then when he won the Royal Rumble. That was that, that was same the, year. Yeah. That was the same year. He had a great year. What was that, 94? 94. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, we, were, we had just done Fallon 2012, right? Mm -hmm. This was April 2012, and Nick Weidenfeld, the head of ADHD, saw it, called us up and asked us if we had any, like, animation ideas. So then I just submitted something about Master P taking over Brooklyn with, like, a gold tank. It was, like, <laughs> funny to me for some reason. And he's like, let's, let's, write a, let's write a script. Yeah, he said, let's try to develop something out of that idea. And then we went out to L.A. for a couple months and just started brainstorming. And then we came up with the idea of Lucas Bros. Moving Co. Uh, well, because we wanted to base it in Brooklyn, and we realized that, like, moving companies are so prevalent in Bushwick. Mm -hmm. And also, it's a good, like, starting off point for just different adventures. Like, you can drive anywhere across the city in, yeah. in a moving van. It's just a good vehicle to get into crazy shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Our mom, yeah, she was always pretty much on our case to, and reminding us to pay our bills yeah. and pay, make, pay our rent. Yeah, because we, we just forgot all the time, <laughs> so she would just make us do it. She would call us all the time. Listen to voicemails, like, I feel like that's so... <laughs> funny about parents like they leave you voicemails. so many I know. Really? The last thing you're gonna yeah. do like you can just text us that's what we're doing <laughs> just text us whatever you gotta say who listens to voicemails anymore and they always leave like it's like the voicemails don't have that much information no. like, oh, I called you just to see how you're doing call me back like, yeah. uh, this, once you call me and I see that you've called me I'm gonna call you back of you course. don't need to leave a voicemail man I, I've been so lazy in all of my relationships like I did, have you even do you celebrate? The, the worst thing I've do, ever done, and I'm not proud of this. This is uh, my first, my college girlfriend for Valentine's Day. I was like, I'm gonna be original and different. So I got white out. I got a white out in uh, a Snickers bar. <laughs> <laughs> What was the reaction? She wasn't very really happy with it, man. Oh, she, I got started, a, she broke up with him. She broke up with me immediately. <laughs> uh, it was it was it was funny though. I bought my I bought my girlfriend a Harry Potter book. I thought it was kind of dope. I didn't realize that she didn't read any of the books, <laughs> so I bought her the fourth one. I, like, oh, I got that one, so I just gave it to her, and 
she ain't really she ain't really mess with it. The Uncle Taco thing we wrote we for wrote Action Bronson. Bronson. Yeah, because yeah, we, we really, he he loves food, so we were like, oh, this would be a perfect. Yeah, he would be a perfect. Person. And Danny Brown, we wrote. Well, no, 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 we, we had actually, we had Jum- the Jumanji character. We created him first, and yeah. we, like, we need someone who's just wacky and crazy. And we're like, oh, Danny Brown's perfect, and he we came in, he auditioned and ripped it. And yeah, like, right, we just we just keep that. <laughs> Yeah, those two guys are perfect for like voiceovers. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of rappers are. They have a, like untapped talent that people don't really explore, but like they're, they're really talented yeah. folks. Because they're, they're characters. They create yeah. these characters. You just want to. And they were improvising too. That's yeah. the crazy thing. Yeah. Like they just went in there and just said whatever. Yeah, like a lot so of Danny much Brown's of funny. scenes are, are improv. He just, right. just we just let him talk and like, oh, we'll use that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we want to get T.J. Miller. Something we love to get Dave Chappelle too, but oh, that's yeah. probably it. That's We're probably working it. with. I think Waka Flocka is gonna gonna do something. Yeah. Uh, we, we we ran into him in a hotel, and he, he said he knew about Lucas Brooks. Lucas Brooks, like, ah, oh, you wanna you wanna do it? He's like, yeah, I'll do it. So now we're trying to get him on. Uh, uh, who else we? Uh, what about Jay Z? <laughs> <laughs> you think he'll do it? We, have, we have an episode about Jay Z. He's probably not gonna like it. I'm sure he's not gonna like it. Whatever. So yeah, probably not gonna get Jay Z. So we're doing Friends of the People, the sketch show. We're currently in second season, so we're about to start shooting mm-hmm. that. Yeah. We're developing a movie, um, and you know, hopefully we'll see where that goes. We're, we're outlining it now, yeah. and kind of fleshing out the story. And we're thinking about taking the uh, half, I mean, the 15 minute cartoon to a half hour prime time. So we need to figure out that stuff. Yeah. So nice. you know, watch. Yeah, watch Lucas Bros Moving Co. It's uh, on FXX at 12 o'clock on Thursday. Well, midnight. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thursday. That's it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs>